You've spent ages crafting a video and now you have to promote it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and everywhere else. But when you upload, half the text is hidden because of the stupid like button or it's cut off because Facebook just trims stuff randomly. What you need is a guide to safe zones for vertical video. Hey and welcome to Making Socials. A couple of years back I created a preset for both After Effects and Premiere Pro that allowed you to see an overlay of problematic areas to avoid when adding text. If you have an element in a not safe zone, it doesn't mean it won't appear, it's just it's likely to be hidden or partially obscured by like buttons, view counts, titles and so on. While I've kept the original updated, UX updates and other platforms rising in popularity meant it seemed worth redoing the preset completely as well as exporting it as a motion graphic for Premiere Pro. As you can see, once installed, it is a simple case of searching for the preset in effects and presets. And making sure no layer is selected, you just double click the preset to add it to your comp as a new shape layer. If you then right click on this layer and choose guide layer, it will not show up in your renders. So you don't even have to worry about toggling visibility. Then it's just a case of choosing which social media platform you want to set the safe zones for. Did you know that Facebook Reels cuts off the edges of your video? Or that ideally you wouldn't add text at the very bottom of a video on LinkedIn as the play controls obscure it? To use in Premiere Pro, open the Graphics Template panel by going to Window, Graphics Templates. Then use the Install Motion Graphics Template to locate the downloaded Mogrit file. Then just drag the template into your sequence. The options to switch safe zone, change from stripes to checkerboard and set the colors and opacity are all located in effects controls, graphics properties. To install the preset for After Effects in Windows, navigate to your users area, My Documents. For Mac users, open Finder then copy the FFX preset file into Applications, After Effects, Presets. Then in either operating system, open Adobe After Effects. Some of the social media platforms provided their own guidance, but in other cases I uploaded a video showing my alignment grid preset and used that to identify the areas to mark off. In fact, alignment grids are a useful tool for whenever you need to see how your video interacts with the real world. Hey, do you mind? Hey, you're interrupting my video. Dude, this is my video about safe zones for vertical videos. Well, at the same time as you're talking about that, I'm sharing my, our, alignment grid preset. Oh good. After you're done hearing about my, our, actually useful preset, you can jump over to your, am I, video on stage stuff. For those of you who are interested in making your own guides or adapting mine, the preset is really just a set of shape layers. Each group contains its own rectangles, marking out the danger areas. The color section is actually just a fill, just relabeled. A drop-down expression control contains all the different platforms. Drop-down controls pass over a value corresponding to the position in the drop-down list. I added the number to the labels to make it easier to keep track of. Then if the drop-down is set to one for all, or two for Facebook, the opacity is set to 100%. But if it's neither of those options, the opacity switches to zero. Presets go beyond just shape layers and effects. The layers transform controls can also be saved. So here I've added an expression for the anchor position to be zero, zero, top left corner, and position and scale expressions to ensure that it should scale correctly for 4K vertical videos too. Any scale, in fact. I'll try to keep an eye on social media UX but please let me know in the comments if there are any changes needed or other platforms I should include. 